Hello everyone, excited utterance here and I have a very short video for you. Uh, just a quick Photoshop tip and uh, this is going to be making something transparent very quickly. It's a turkey baster. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so I'm just going to share my screen. Yeah. Here I am. Now, here is our turkey baster. Cool. Um, lovely turkey baster. And I'm in Photoshop. As usual, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Window, Workspace, and we're going to Reset Essentials. That makes sure that we have everything in the same space. So if you reset Essentials just now and everything was in uh, a different setup, it should have all reverted to have all of your palettes looking like mine. So the layers should be down in the bottom right hand corner um, and you should have your properties above it, color swatches above that, etc. So moving straight into it. Now you'll see that you have this little palette below your, um, your document, which is a new thing for the most recent versions of Photoshop. Um, and straight up, you'll have this little thing that says remove background. Now, what I want you to do before you get really excited and start clicking on things is always, always what we do is we go to our layers palette bottom right and we duplicate our background layer. So we go and we duplicate that because the background layer is holy ground. We do not stuff with our background layer. So we have our background layer there. We have a lock next to it and we're gonna turn the eye on our background layer off that way we've always got it to refer to so no matter what we haven't messed anything up so now we're going to play with our background copy so we are playing with a duplicate of our background layer cool now we're going to just use this little magic thing called remove background sometimes it works well sometimes it doesn't it really depends how clean the object is um, how cleanly photographed it is from the background, so how busy the background is compared to the foreground. Um, so let's see, this one looks like it's pretty cleanly separated from the background. Let's try how, and see how well it works. Remove background, we click it once. Oh wow, it did a pretty good job. Okay, so you can see that the turkey baster is separated from the background. Now, when we see this checkerboard, remember we've spoken about the checkerboard before, the checkerboard means that there is nothing, right? So that's nothingness, that is transparency, okay? So the reason you can see the checkerboard is because I've turned off the background layer. See in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, I'm referring to the layers palette. Now the layers palette, if you can't see the checkerboard, Maybe you haven't turned off the little eye that is next to the background layer. Remember we duplicated the, uh, the background layer. And if you haven't turned off the layer visibility on the background layer, see if I turn it on and turn it off, that means that you can see the white that was there to start off with, right? So you need to turn off the little eye and now you can see the checkerboard and the checker, checkerboard means that there's nothing that's behind there. Okay, now we could just leave it at that and that would mean that the turkey baster, if we were to bring it into a program uh, like Canva, for example, or if we were to save it as a PNG and bring it into uh, a website or even into StreamYard like I was showing you in a previous video, it would come in just like this. Okay, so no background. But I want to go a little bit further with this one because Turkey Baster is actually transparent in itself, right? So you can see through it. I want to go a little bit further and I want to actually make the Turkey Baster itself slightly transparent. So this section here. Cool. So let's just do that. Now, um, I'm going to use this little guy up here. It's called the Quick Selection Tool. And the way it works is it sees pixels that are close to each other in color. So what you do is you basically paint with it, right? So I'm going to go into this section here and I'm going to go bloop, like so. All right, so it caught these ones. They're kind of close to each other in color. It only got down to there. 
Now I'm going to press my shift button down because when we use the shift button, what happens is it adds to the selection and I'm going to press shift and I'm going to go, hello, keep going, shift, keep going, shift, keep going, shift, keep going, shift, keep going, keep going. That's right. And it sees the edge, right? It understands, oh, okay, you want me to keep selecting things that are similar kind of pixels and keep going with that addition of those pixels that look like that. Keep going. Right, sweet, lovely. So that's a pretty decent selection just of this section through here. Lovely. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to go into here and I want to just make, let's see how I can do this. All right, so I only want this little section here to be slightly transparent. So there's a couple of ways that I can do it. Now, what I want to just refer to is the fact that when we made, when we removed the background a moment ago, what we did was we created what, what's called a layer mask. And I want you to just have a little bit of a look over at these layers over here that have been created. You can see that we have our turkey baster. That is the picture on the left hand side. Now you need to be looking at the layers over on the bottom right hand corner of my screen. And I am referring to um, when my mouse is pointing. I'm pointing right now at the little thumbnail. It says layer thumbnail. And next to that, you'll see layer mask thumbnail, right? And that is basically a stencil that I've created. When we create, when we made the first, um, uh, when, when we did the first removal of background, what happened was it created this little stencil, right? Like a black piece of paper with a hole through it, right? And it put that next to this picture, right? And it created this hole, right? So what we're gonna do next is we're going to go to this little stencil and we're going to say just this part of this stencil we are going to make this part of it not black and white we're going to make it like slightly gray right because slightly gray means that it's partially transparent not completely transparent because white is completely transparent and uh gray is only partially transparent so i'm going to go now and i'm going to Go and get black, and I'm going to fill it first. Actually, I'm going to fill it with edit, fill, oops, fill it with 50% gray. Go. All right, and I'll show you what I just did. If I just show you my channels. Basically, what that means is I've created a stencil that looks like this, right? So all I've done is I've gone and I've taken this part of the selection and I've filled this part of it with 50% of black, right? And all I had to do was keep this selection going, stay on this part, and watch, watch the bottom right hand side of the screen. Stay on this part, which is the stencil or the layer thumbnail, oh, sorry, the layer mask thumbnail, and fill this part of it with 50% of black. I could have filled it with 30% of black. I could have filled it with 20% of black. Um, I, I could still even mess around with it more if I wanted to, but 50% is pretty good, right? Um, and then in order for me to now show it to you, I go over to my channels palette. I turn off R, G, and B, which is the colors. And I can just show you it in black and white so that you can understand what this stencil looks like. Um, and you can see that this part here is now masking off half of the color that's going on in this section here. So the idea is, if I turn that back on, the idea is that what I've ended up with is this part of the turkey baster is transparent. Now let's give let's see what that does in in reality. So if I were to go and put something behind it, 
like if I were to go and get, I don't know, a picture of some sort, or even just a, just going to make a new layer and put, uh, yep. So put a little box behind it. So that's what I mean, right? So see now, you can actually see through it. You can't see through this part of it. So you can't see through this uh, rubber part, but you can see through this part of it, which is exactly what I wanted. Cool. So it's a little bit more of a complicated, transparent um, turkey baster, but that's what I wanted to show you. So you don't have to go through that second part of it, but I wanted to show you just the, if you wanted to do something a little bit more tricky with your transparent turkey based up, then that's a bit of fun. Okay, so I'm going to save that now, file, and I'm going to go export, export as where is my dialog box? It might be on my other screen. Oh no, there it is, preview. All right, and you want to save it as a PNG, transparency. Um, it's coming at this, this size, so we'll keep it at this size and we can just export it. Okay, and that's how it's done. Just cancel that so you can just, I don't need to save it right now. Um, also, you will save your main file with all of its layers as a PSD file. So you go file, save as, and you always keep your main file. Do not just save your flat um, PNG file. You always save your main file as a .psd, so I'll call it turkey baster, .png, oh, sorry, psd. And you go okay, like so. And you have your transparent PNG with the turkey baster. How fun. Now I'm going to start and come back to here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like and all of the YouTube things and I will see you next time.